When we were doing our history on this and our uh, the climate history on this, we did 15 years and it was 62 to 68 degrees, uh, 68 being the high. We're nowhere clear, close to 68 degrees in this past week. So, you know, we can't predict a record high. I just have to do the best I can with the elements that are given to us. I pick up the team at 3 o'clock in the afternoon from the hotel, and we'll be working right through until 2 or 4 o'clock in the morning. I myself are averaging probably about 4 to 5 hours sleep a night. We have the protective tarp here with the reflective layer. What's the challenging part is when the sun goes down, you still have the hot air, which means, and we have a law of expansion and contraction, which we've never had to deal with before. The whole thing, it's, it's portable. It's floating. This whole thing is moving. It's, it's con- and that's where the expansion and contraction comes in. So we manic here now. And it's ma- mainly getting the truck dialed in, getting our machines on, getting hot water on, and just, just getting the, sh- the sheet to work on a certain time of day and just get, get all of our numbers right and just stay focused on, on our game plan. It's an inch and a half now, and usually when we're outdoor, we're over two and probably closer to three inches. If I grew up in the mountains in Western Canada, and I mean, we're, we're used to being below zero, zero uh, Celsius all the time, you know, during the winter time. So being here and being up above 55 on any given night is definitely against everything that we thought that we'd ever deal with. Any hockey player worth worth anything always wants the biggest challenge and I'll tell you this is it this is this is probably the biggest challenge that we can put forward right now